I never knew this place was so vibrant. The creatures here have grown into their surroundings. It's strange, yet so beautiful. Of used glasses? That's the first time I've ever seen something like that. If someone had told me a few days ago that the entrance to Colossal Grave was here, I would have thought they were a lunatic. But the problem is, how does one find a place that one has never seen or been to before? What is it? A man or a ghost? It must be somewhere nearby. Patience, patience. My luck is not that bad. Oh, a new face? Have you also been recruited by the overseer for that thing? Um, asking that may have been offensive. I'm Drake. They call me Lucky Drake, and I'm a courier just like you. Oh, excuse me. I'm ashamed to say this, but I accidentally triggered the trap of the Martians and lost the hourglass in a panic. Have you seen it? Why is the hourglass so important to you? What? You haven't met those guys from the church, have you? The overseer recruited a group of couriers to search for the seal of the Jacob under the sacred tower. But it seems like the place is cursed by the Martians. If you don't want to be turned into Maya, you should get out of there before all the sand and hourglass runs out. Why don't you ask for another one from the church? <sighs> they don't have any extra ones. It was not easy for me to snack that one. If you can find it for me, that would be very good for both of us. The Overseer promised that as long as we find the seal of Jacob, the proxy will grant us amnesty and let us return to the Blessed Land. Since the seal of Jacob has once showed up here, it seems that the rumors of the colossal grave in Katib may be true.
It's odd. It says, the stone of the past. Though I have traveled among the various peoples of Solas for many years, I still sigh over the fragility of civilization. Wait for me. Just one more step. One more. Courier, we'll meet again.
I'm sorry. I was just thinking of my wife in the blessed land. Well, I can't remember her face so clearly. It's too long for her. Ah, uh, yes. Did you find my hourglass? Still nothing. Indeed. It's not a trivial matter. Sometimes even the lucky can be the unlucky. Just like how I'll never know when I'll encounter that damn Martian witchcraft here. The hourglass must be behind the trap. Let us lift it. Oh, that's strange. Are there still normal people here in Kitty? Or just people who look normal? Wait. One of you is trying to hide. But I can smell the blood. You were once a born of the church and had a long history with this place. A talking sunflower? Am I mad? <laughs> I just survived in this world in a different way. I used to be a priest of the church with flesh and bones. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it is quite strange to stay in the form of a human. The mist there is not the same as the Sandros. Oh, those are just the little tricks of the Martians. Here are some tips. The Martians believe in the eternal flow of life, the past, the present, and the afterlife. Only by experiencing the three lives can you find the truth. I used to be a priest of the church. The stone of the present. What does it mean? I used to be a priest of- How about the others in the church? Where are they? They all went back to the sacred tower, and a frightful secret under the tower was discovered. However, they choose to keep the secret within the sacred tower forever, so no one left. Maybe they all fell into a deep sleep together. It's hard to imagine what has happened to you. So you are a normal person. Only normal people can explore the cause of dreams. When the Colossus started to grow into the sacred tower, Martian witches put everyone to sleep, and it was not easy for them to wake from this dream.
The daydream, it's hard to wake up from. The souls of those round can never get justice. The darkness beneath the holy light, the senders you speak of, are they really the culprit? There exists no right or wrong in this world. It is only the dark abyss found deep within the heart of man that determines good and evil. Who are you? I am Gerald. I'm a stranger from the East. My hometown has already long been in a deep slumber. Unlike Solus, things here have only recently fallen asleep. I want to find a way to end this eternal dream, so I drifted here. Though it's none of my business. If you want to live, I suggest you keep away from the sacred tower. Those madmen have no idea what they're doing. Have you met the owner of this cabin? That fear is which? Presumably, you have met those ghosts who fell from grace. They were like us. But because of their greed, the witch torched their dignity with a vengeful flame. Courier, let the past go. Stick to the lie that you sincerely believe. Bow down and gallop into the darkness. Staring at the dazzling light can only make you blind. Listen to me. Do what you can do. Any more than this will only result in agonizing pain as you endure the everlasting circle of sin. How's your wound? <coughs> Nothing serious. I just need to rest. If we want to get closer to the truth, we'll have to take some risks and venture to the Sacred Tower. Of course. It's your call. This has nothing to do with pride or honor. Remember, life always comes first.